Hey Comic Impact, Matt here. I'm here to tell you what's new this week for the week of October 25th, 2011. Now, in the typical fashion, both DC and Marvel are releasing so many books in the final week of the month. As a fanboy, I love it. My wallet, not so much. The two need to kind of reconcile, and hopefully I will uh, not go too broke this month. Now, uh, from DC, we're going to be getting All-Star Western number two from Jimmy Palmiotti, Justin Gray, and Moritat. Now, I really loved the first issue. I thought Moritat's visual storytelling was really superb, and I really just felt that the issue was just really, you know, dense and meaty and just really, really enjoyable, and it really made it worth the $3.99. Now, Aquaman number two, Jeff Johns and Ivan Rice continue to prove why Aquaman is cool, and he's always been cool. Now, Flash, number two, by Brian Buccioletto and Francis Manipool. First issue, fantastic. They gave Barry Allen so much personality. Francis Manipool really pushed his artwork to the next level, showing some really impressive layouts, and I just can't wait for the second issue. Now, also speaking of The Flash, uh, the Flashpoint hardcover is going to be coming out this week. And I, for one, really like the storyline, and I'm really looking forward to reading it all in one sitting. What else from DC? What else from DC? Oh, I Vampire. You know what? The first issue was by far one of my favorite issues of the year. Not just of the 52, but of the entire year. So, Josh Vialkov, don't disappoint me. And from Marvel, we've got Avengers Academy. Listen, I really think that Avengers Academy is uh, by far the best book with Avengers in the title. Uh, Christos Gage has really just done a great job creating a group of characters who are compelling and unpredictable, and it's really just a really fun, awesome book. Uh, Captain America and Bucky by Ed Brubaker, Mark Andreco, and Chris Somney. It's the best cap book, hands down. Chris Somney's artwork, gorgeous, and we get to see Bucky again, which Bucky is one of my favorite characters, so it does, I am a little biased on that. Daredevil number five, Mark Wade, Marcos Martin. Again, this is another example of two creators using the medium to tell a story in a way that only comics can. And just visually just bringing Daredevil's powers to life. It's fantastic. I love it. I think it's Marvel's best book on the stands today, but Ultimate Spider-Man is closing fast. We also have Jason Aaron is going to give us the hat trick this week. He's got Incredible Hulk number one. He's got Wolverine and the X-Men number one. And he's got Scout. So I am looking forward to all three of those books. And I, that, that alone makes it a great week. And that's, that's about it. There are many more books I could tell you about, but I only have so many minutes on this video. So guys, take care. Check out my column, The Impact. I'm Matt. I'll see you around.